Hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Right before you go to bed. Well, there's an easy solution to that. Don't go to bed. <laughs> Duh. Well, I didn't think of that one. So, I've never played this game. Um... But it gets brought up a lot in conversations as kind of like the main example of the most generic of its time shooter they've ever played. And everyone tells me it's one of those boring things they've ever played. So I find that interesting. Uh, how long is this game? Hold on, let's let's look real quick. That opened to my second screen for some reason. I know my browser is being very, very slow. Come on. Come on. There we go. Uh, prior long play. Just to get an idea. Three hours, three hours, four hours. Okay. Three to four hours. Cool. I can do that all in one stream. Lost level is such bullshit. Well, hopefully I'll beat it. Okay, let's just uh, start a new game. I like what doesn't even give me an option of new game, just first level. Overwrite. Oh god. Oh my god. Jesus. Tesla Steel, welcome. Thanks for following. It's and okay. Madlad gifted a sub. Thanks so much for the okay. sub. Okay. It's too late. Fuck. I'm so sorry. I don't know if it's just me, but I think the cutscenes are way louder. Like, it doesn't... My audio settings don't change for the cutscenes. That may be insane. Love my YouTube channel. Well, welcome. Glad to have you here. <coughs> well, that's true. Halo game was Halo 3. Eh, depends. Your main Discord is banned over drama. I wouldn't notice. Dr. Wow, these cutscenes look bad. <laughs> they're uh, they're not made to be played at this resolution. Transport infectious material from the prison back to TCC. She's been on ice for a month. <laughs> Where's our escort, Colonel? I've got here two D fives listed as escort. Sorry, Doctor. Those ships were reassigned this morning. Looks like you're on your own. Fine, doesn't look too bad. Every game. You can never be in a helicopter or a plane, you're just gonna crash. <clears throat> there are two results from being in a helicopter or a plane. The most common one, like 90% of the time, it crashes. The second most common one is that you fast rope in because it looks all tactical and cool. Nothing else will ever happen. Oh, we're in game. Oh, it does the your health is low, I'm gonna beep at you thing. It doesn't look too bad for the time it came out. This is an OG Xbox game just being played at a much higher resolution. It's got the floaty halo jumps. Is this on Steam? Uh, no, I think it's... Abandonware. Health is very similar to that of Far Cry 2. Reach was the beginning of the decline. It was passable. The story was okay, but the gameplay was already being codified. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, although I will say, for a brief moment in time, when it comes to Halo multiplayer, Halo 5 fully brought Halo back. I, I will hold on to that statement. I think Halo 5's multiplayer is literally just as good as Halo 1, 2, or 3. It, if anything, it... I don't think I like it more than Halo 2. Halo 1 is my favorite multiplayer. 
but it's up there with Halo 2 for me. I, I genuinely like Halo 5's multiplayer a lot, and it feels like a Halo game. <laughs> I will fight anyone that says it's not Halo, they're dumb. Everything else 343 has done, though, has just been either mediocre at best or really bad. And it's like, how? How have you done this? It's even more confusing. How do they manage to make such a good multiplayer for Halo 5? And then, like, make such a bad one right after Earth Infinite? Halo 5 is the least Halo game? Hard disagree. Everyone says that, but I think what they're saying is it's not the Halo game I expected. Everyone tries to compare Halo 5 to Halo 2 and 3, and it does have, like, even starts and all that stuff, but it actually kind of plays more like Halo Combat Evolved than it does Halo 2 or 3. Especially with the faster time to kill. It's like a blend of Halo 1, Halo 2, and 3. Halo 5 single player is awful, but we're not talking about that. <laughs> the multiplayer is fantastic. Now, I can adjust the uh, the FOV by... This is a good time to, to show it. So, default FOV, I think, is like 70. So, I think like this is the default FOV, and that's awful. Um, but if you notice when I adjust my FOV bigger, it doesn't scale the, the weapon FOV with the regular FOV. And that's a little jarring and kind of annoying. This feels a little better. Don't move. Who are you? What's going on? Whoa. Easy with that thing. I'm a doctor. You're very sick. I said don't move. Where am I? You're okay. You have a virus. We were put into stasis to slow it down. What are you talking about? How'd I get a virus? We're not really sure how it transmits yet. Maybe through blood. Blood? eat us alive when they find us. I think they're already here. What? Something is out there. Shit! I like how he had just absolutely no reaction to shooting her and then she also didn't say anything. She said not a thing about it. Uh, some ragdoll. Get out of the way. Oh, this does that toggle aim thing where if you reload as you're zooming, it'll just immediately zoom when you're done reloading. I hate it when games do that. I don't hate Halo 5, but it's not really Halo. Disagree. <laughs> Halo 5 is just as Halo as Halo 2 and 3. I will fight anyone that says otherwise. Whoop. It has even starts, it has the same amount of time to kill, it has good designed maps for that. The default maps were bland, but they weren't necessarily poorly designed. Uh, how do I get behind it? Here we go, I didn't see this. I hate the blur when I'm sprinting. I think what people say when they say Halo 5 isn't Half-Life, or isn't Half-Life, when they say Halo 5 isn't Halo, uh, is they say it's not my casual Halo. Because Halo 5, especially for like a good six months after launch, was just purely eSports Halo. So if you got used to like eSports Halo 2, it felt pretty, pretty dang similar to that. But if it didn't, then like it just didn't feel like the Halo they knew. Until later on. Uh, later on, once they finally added everything, it was it had all the silly casual Halo stuff, all the modes you would expect. No escorts. Scavengers with surface-to-air missiles. Bullshit. Someone was going through a lot of trouble to get his hands on her. I had to find her before the infection spread. Killzone is more Halo than Halo? Alright, that's just low bait. 
<laughs> That's just some really poorly done bait. Can't get through? Okay. Okay, it's definitely a dead end. So, extremely linear game. By the way, this game doesn't like OBS. If I launch OBS as administrator, it will cause this game to lag like crazy, like to the point of being unplayable. It's so weird. How much screen real estate do you need to take up for the gun? The problem is that the weapon FOV doesn't scale for the regular FOV. My god, this gun is inaccurate. Holy shit. Back here. Infinite multiplayer was okay, it just had zero support. Infinite multiplayer is its base. Could have been really dang good. And then literally everything else they messed up. Like, I have not seen a game mishandled worse than Infinite. I don't know how they managed. It makes me so sad. Like, we've talked about it so much, but like, how? How does 343 do that? You give everyone hope at the beginning. And it fell down. Everyone was like, okay, well, it's a new game. You know, it's going to be free to play multiplayer. Like, they'll work some stuff out. Here we are almost a year later. <laughs> And it's worse than it was at launch. So you remember when we all complained about how Halo 5 didn't have enough content at launch? There was more content at Halo 5's launch than there is in Halo Infinite today. Still. Halo, Inf Halo 5, it only took them a good like four or five months to add in like all the content that should have been there. Because it was like that, it was like four or five months in that's when we got Forge. I don't know what's going on in Nightbot. I need to figure that out. I don't know why it just vanished. Oh, loading. Honestly, for the time, this game just does not look bad, honestly. Looks okay. What what year did this game come out? It's an OG Xbox game. Melee. Come back here, you fuck. Give me your grenade launcher. All right, let me show you a few tiny things about this game that drive me insane. So the default FOV will be like 75 or something like that. So this is the default FOV. This is what an initial build be like. So the game was kind of made for this sort of FOV. It might have even been lower than this, but you can adjust it and it actually does save it even though you adjust it through the um, console. So put it about 110. It's also like a different style of FOV, so it'll cut things out. If you have to raise it higher than what you usually would. And when I do this, the weapon will stay exactly the same. So it does not scale your weapon FOV with the FOV. And it's really annoying. Because it just doesn't look natural. The gun is like more scrunched in your face. Far Cry 3 had the same problem. It drives me insane. Um, something else that drives me insane is that if I zoom... This is toggle for one. And I'm not a big fan of toggle. Uh, I shoot and then I just reload. So I'm not pressing anything. It automatically is going to scope in again. I hate it when games do this. It drives me insane. And I can like... Hold on. I can reload... I'm clicking, so it could, so it should unscope, but it's still gonna scope back in. So like, God, I hate that. Oh, also when you're reloading, if you press the reload button when you don't need to, it makes that noise. Even if you can reload. Why? <laughs> it, it's such like a bunch of really small things that drive me insane. Like I'm kind of nitpicking, but that stuff does add up while you're playing to just annoy the hell out of you. Not enough to like ruin the experience, but just be like, what what kind of why would you do this? I think this is 2007. Uh someone to Google. This game released 2005? Okay, it was 2005. Okay. Looks like a PSP game a bit. Eh. No, not really. To me, it just looks kind of like... Yeah, that's, that's about right. Like, late OG Xbox. Early 360. Kind of around that time. A shroud relic. 
You wouldn't find anything like this in a museum. Even the Khans were too spooked to pick it apart. It was a reminder of a war people wanted to forget. It hadn't even been a war officially. More like a domestic situation 30 years ago. Can I hit the button a couple more times? Okay. How fast can I hit it? <laughs> uh, let's try the grenade launcher. Okay. Blows up on contact. God, it, it, again, that's going to bother the hell out of me. Ow. It's got classic ragdolls. Press X. I have rebound my controls. X is one of my... Hold on. I didn't even know there were upgrades. Let's see. Miscellaneous. Why did I say miscellaneous? Sounds like someone's name. Like your teacher. Quick consoles tab. Show menus just escape. I think it... Is there upgrades in this game? I don't know if there is. I don't think there is. There are? Well, weird. I don't know what button it is. It's not in my input. Oh, it's somewhere in the environment that you press E on to get the upgrades. Okay, that makes way more sense. The what? What were they saying to press X about them? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm stuck. Okay. What's that noise? The physics of this game? Holy shit. If I try to jump near something, it just launches me away. Fall damages in this game. Okay, that didn't hurt me. You have a flamethrower. Can you? Wow, that killed me. Holy shit. Okay, note to self: flamethrower guys are actually kind of fucky. Digital extremes best game is the Darkness Two. Well, that's disappointing because the Darkness Two is, well. The darkness too. How? What is hurting me? What? Oh, there are mines there. How was I supposed to know that? The fuck? I thought it was the flamethrower that did that, but no. The Darkness 2 is okay. Holy shit, what an explosion. The Darkness 2 is good at the time. I disagree. The Darkness 2 is bad just because it's called The Darkness 2. Just because it's significantly worse than The Darkness 1.
The Darkness One is genuinely one of the best games of all time. I cannot rant enough about that game. I love that game. And then The Darkness Two was just comic book superhero. Like, I get it. I get what the darkness is. I know why it is that way. But you can't tell me that the story, the writing and all that isn't significantly better in the darkest one. Darkness 2 plays significantly better. I mean, sure but not in every way. You're gonna blow up. Okay. Like, for example, I much prefer The Darkness is a con- yeah, I, Like I said, I know why it is that way. But I think it's worse. You can stop telling me it's a comic book. I know it's a comic book. But The Darkest One is a much better take on it. Will this hurt me? Nope. The dirt doesn't seem more somehow to get- You know, that honestly fits, like, a lot. Also, aim in this game feels kind of bad. I saw him. He shot at me. Where did he go? There you are. No sprinting while reloading? A bit disappointed. I, I thought I saw him. Oh, I accidentally held the button down. That works. Let's go around. I think maybe the surround sound is just kind of weird. Oh, also, this is one of those games where you literally can only sprint forward. Like, so I can sprint if I'm holding this just forward. But if I try to press diagonal at all while I'm pressing forward. Oh, it does work. What the heck? So why does it not? Hmm. Sometimes it just gets me out of sprint. Like, there I ran out of stamina. But some other times it just kind of doesn't let me. It's just weird. Thankfully, it's not one of those games that just immediately doesn't let me sprint if I try to move in any other direction. You're out to bed? Alright, later, mad lad. Enjoy the sub. You can play the first game in RPC. Yeah, I, I heard the first game is emulatable now, which is nice, but it's still, like, nowhere near as good as having a proper PC release. Because if I try to get my friends to play The Darkness 1, they're all lazy as fuck. So they're too lazy to actually go set up the emulator and play it. Which is so annoying, because that's one of those games where I consider like a must-play. And I don't care if you play Darkness 2 at all, to be honest. You have a new gun. What the heck? How did that not kill you? Alright, well, fine. Yeah, the bulldog. Someone has a either a shotgun or a DMR. I think it was. It was you? Frag rifle. Hmm. Question is, what is this? Yeah, you know, sometimes this kind of looks like Doom Three. Like, 
imagine you're on Mars. And you look down like this looks kind of similar to Doom 3 in a way. What game needs a remaster in your opinion? The Darkness 1. Oh, it is a shotgun. Nice. Get away from me, please. What a weird shotgun. I get so many people that ask me about, uh, about Red Faction, and I'm just gonna be honest, I don't care about Red Faction at all. I get asked so much, and I have absolutely zero interest in it. Oh, okay, ladder. Oh, okay, ladder. There we go. <laughs> Good to see ladders are just as buggy in this game as any other game. Getting onto them is at least easy in this game. This is such a weird gun. Like, what a weird reload. I knocked over their gamer chair. No, the so function just zooms in. Can you pull the pelvic thrust like Doom 3 if only? I don't know why they gave me a zoom for the show. Wait, does it change anything? Nope. Spreads the same. What a... I don't get it. don't care about I mean it kind of like 007 games that I have no interest in but for 007 games it's more than that it's just because I don't really care for the stealthy spy thing and like the whole gameplay of 007 games I have no interest in they're just like they're the opposite of appealing to me like play styles that I genuinely don't like red faction it just exists I just don't care about it I hate stealth. I hate stealth gameplay. I need to lower my sensitivity a little bit. It's kind of annoying because I, for sensitivity, I can't go, you know, my new changes either 0.75 or 0.50. 0.50 feels not sensitive enough. 0.75 feels too sensitive. So. So I hate Thief and Spike. Yes, I have no interest in Thief. Everyone loves it and I just, I don't get it. But I don't like immersive sims just as a whole. Now, hate. Okay, hate is not the word. It's not hate. It is indifference. I know it's not for me. That's why I don't cover immersive sims. I stay in my lane when it comes to the games I cover. I know what is or isn't my... It's not even despise. It's just... It's not my thing, you know? That's totally okay. Not every game has to be made for you. That's fine. Wow, what a shitty shotgun. Oh, that's my health. I thought it was an explosion beeping. That that conversation is actually the conversation that happens so goddamn much on like social media or in YouTube comments. I will say, no, nah, I'm not really into stealth games. I prefer something else. And then it turns into like, so you hate Thief. I'm like, no, that's a different sentence I didn't say. That's a different conversation, bitch. What the fuck are you going on about? <laughs> and not saying you were being hostile, but like, you know, when people say it online, they're like super hostile. Like, wow, your stupid shit opinion. You hate this game. It's like, what? What? I literally didn't say that. <laughs> like, how? You know, the classic example of saying, like, I love pancakes, and someone else will come along and be like, so you hate waffles. I'm like, no, that's a different conversation and a different sentence, bitch. What?
Like you were fine. Like you didn't you didn't mean it that way. I got the way you meant it. But you know what I'm saying. Yeah, see, I'm pretty self-aware about where my takes are just, like, I'm just not the target market or audience, and my opinion would mean literally nothing and just be invalid in that context. Like, when it comes to immersive sims, they just don't appeal to me. I just don't get them. You know, I don't want to set up my entire game and be low on ammo the whole time and just not, you know, be very limited in what I could do because it's an immersive sim. That's the way they're set up. You're supposed to be that way. People will find that stuff engaging and they love it and they love setting up the world and all that stuff. I just find it annoying. I just want to play the game. I just want to shoot stuff. <laughs> you know, so like, I get it. It's not made for me. So my opinion is literally invalid in that context. It'd be like if I decided to make a review on an MMO. I, what, I have no interest in MMOs. I find them boring. I, I don't get that whole genre. So why would I cover them? I can't walk through that too, too thick. I think I'll turn up the voices just a little bit. This is gonna be close. Whoops. Wow, that actually killed him. He's gonna die from his own. Wow, he survived. What? I guess I just don't have friendly fire. <laughs> oh my god. Through the moon. Behind me? No. Where are the upgrade stations? Wait, wait, wait. Is there quick saving? Hold on. Not input. Controls. Miscellaneous. I feel like there should be quick saving. There might only be checkpoints. Okay, no, I don't think there is quick saving. If come to ladder like that. Moves or a time sink, I'll still play Warframe. I mean, I don't get Warframe either. I Warframe is just not. I don't get anything grindy. Like anything that requires me to grind, I immediately don't like it. Cause like I I remember. God, so this is a rant I've done quite a bit when it comes to Halo Infinite, how everyone made such a huge deal about the store. And like the store was really dumb, don't get me wrong. Like that was set up in such a goddamn stupid way. But Everyone made it sound like that was the primary issue with Halo Infinite. And I'm sitting there and I'm going, I remember when we played Halo 2 just to top frag, you know, just to be top of the scoreboard, just for our team to win. Why why do people care so much about cosmetics? I don't I just don't get it. Uh oh. You know, I I would be happier uh let's take Call of Duty for example. I'd be happier if Call of Duty unlocked everything for me right away. I don't want to grind to unlock stuff, and that's like the easiest leveling you could ever get. I just want to play the game. I want everything unlocked right away, because I don't need the grind to keep me invested in games. The gameplay is good. Uh, I don't know what high on life is. Is it because we're all depressed? Yeah, I care about the base content. How many maps are in the game? How are the enemies? How are the weapons? Does the game feel good? That's, that's what I care about.
the weapons in this game are designed pretty cool. I can't really complain too much about that. They're really unique. Back onto the elevator. But yeah, I, uh, I genuinely don't like it when things make me grind. Because my main motivation for playing games is not to grind and level up stuff and unlock things. Like, that's just annoying. I just want to have them now so I can play the game. A uh, really good example is Payday 2. Payday 1 to Payday 2... I just... Payday 1 was awesome. It was like a Banks and Robbers Left 4 Dead. And that's all it was. And you really needed teamwork and all that stuff. Payday 2 was entirely made. The whole structure of the game was made for leveling up. Literally the whole game. So, like, why? Why would you do that? So I, I quickly kind of backed off Payday 2. I did not like the structure of that game. No, Payday is fully gone to the grind level up and like, I don't know, people have become addicted with turning games into jobs. That's what I don't get. And that's funny coming from you because my games are my job. So like, I don't know, I don't want to turn my in-game gameplay into literal jobs. My whole goal isn't to unlock things, it's to play the game. I, I, I can't be the only one that understands what I mean. Oh my god. The ragdoll in this game is wild. I actually meant to pull out my shotgun. Someone please clip that. It's just ragdoll. What is this? Poison, I guess. What a good shot. What a good shot. So the shotgun has almost no range, but like, I haven't gotten any CQB situations to really use it. I have to like force CQB. Better to play with friends. What, Payday? Well, no shit. It's made for co-op, but that still doesn't make it like not a grind. Who's there? You're still alive. You got shot. Shit. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm not going anywhere until you tell me what's going on. Hey. Just as confused as you are. You're gonna have to trust I'm me. not sure I trust any of you. <laughs> Smart girl. This voice acting and writing is, uh, something. Looks like some sort of deal going on down there. They must be waiting for whoever wants you. We need to get past them. It's the Shroud. We're gonna need a vehicle to get out of here. Once we're out, we should head to that comm tower and call for a rescue team. Karina! You are really slow response time. She got that far away before you noticed? I always wonder where the breaking point where people gave up old style multiplayer gaming, got addicted to shiny unlocks and grinding. I can tell you the exact point. The exact point of where it all started going downhill in that regard, and not even necessarily at the fault of this game. It was Call of Duty 4. Call of Duty 4 really started putting in the level system. You know? People wanted to unlock and level up, and they got the big noise when they leveled up, and it was satisfying, it was like, you know, that was, it was quite fun to do that. But that wasn't why we stuck around, right? We stuck around because the gameplay was fun. It was not the primary reason to play, but it did keep a lot of the casuals around that wouldn't play otherwise, because, you know, they weren't necessarily as into it.
Truck and charge! Wow. I think that's the same siren noise that they used in Blood Dragon. That's not a shotgun. Uh, oh, there's stairs here. <laughs> Why did he just run straight at me? Okay, where did that come from? Oh, there you are. God, the reload is so slow on this thing. I'll say the shotgun does make some pretty satisfying noises, though. Uh, where do you upgrade the guns? Did those guns just disappear into the ground? I don't think people play COD today for unlocking stuff. Uh, they they definitely play to unlock new weapons and up, unlock like attachments and upgrades. Especially with Modern Warfare 2, the way they're setting it up. Oh, I'm sorry, not Modern Warfare 2, 2 Modern, 2 Warfare. The way they're setting that up is, uh... Tab doesn't do anything. Is it actually like a button in game you need to press to, to upgrade? I am typing in my console. Tab is another, okay. Oh, I have a weapon wheel. Okay. Wait, hold up. Show menu. Okay, that's just the pause button. Uh, weapon menu. Joy one. What the? What? What? What is that? I'm sorry. I'll rebind that to tab. Uh, what? What the fuck? I can't do anything out of this. Look at my mouse. Uh, what is this supposed to do here? Oh, that upgraded it by clicking it. I think. Yeah, it doesn't upgrade. It has lights on it. Okay, okay, okay. That's a very jank way to upgrade. Very, very awkward. People play for thousands of hours after they unlock it. Yes, but like, casual players are going to want to be able to jump in to be like, oh cool, I can unlock this new attachment for my gun, or I can unlock an entirely vari variation of my gun, like especially 2 Modern 2 Warfare. Uh, the AR-15, you can upgrade that to be, not upgrade, you can just unlock it to turn it into an AR-57 and stuff like that. So, like, that's going to give people a reason to play and grind and level up. Then you have the battle pass to level up and grind, so... People definitely care about cosmetics hard when it comes to Call of Duty nowadays. Uh, but back in the day, it was just because they wanted to unlock the next red dot on their new gun or, you know, something like that. It was a lot simpler. It's just a more extreme version of what we got. Okay, I have upgrades, so, um, I should probably, let's upgrade this. How did I upgrade? No, don't swap. It was if I just click this? Yeah, okay, cool. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Let's just upgrade. What? No, I didn't. I did not. Why are you swapping? How do I swap in this menu so I don't have to deal with that? What is this menu, by the way? Like, what the hell? I did not want to upgrade that. Oh, well. Because as soon as I press tab, it just does... What? This is so annoying. This is actually very annoying. How the f... I'm so confused. I'm so very confused. <laughs> oh. 
I, I literally can't move the mouse far enough. This doesn't do anything. This is as far as I can move the mouse to the side, by the way. What the... What? 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 What is this? What is this menu? Why, why would they do it this way? This is the most annoying way to do things. I know I can upgrade that weapon. These dots just don't do anything, by the way. It's like, I know I can upgrade the weapon because I saw in the preview you'd have like a, a little remote clicker. The FOV fucked up the menu? Hold on, let's see. What is default FOV? I think it was 70? It didn't fuck up the menu. The menu is just this way. Let's go even smaller. Oops. Yeah, the, the FOV did not fuck up the menu. It's just very buggy on PC, I guess. Like, I really don't get why... And how did I even swap there? Like, what? How does this happen? Okay, I had to pull it out. Okay, okay, I got it. I can't upgrade this at the moment, but at least I can have this out. Okay. Okay, okay. That's fine. It's still just slow. So I have to press the button as I'm pulling up this menu to keep this out. It That's so buggy. <laughs> that's so jank. Holy shit. But I can't upgrade it at the moment, which is strange. I know I can, because I saw in the preview that, um... You have the little, like, clicker to blow up the explosive. My FOV defaulted. And I can't... shoot any... Why can't I turn? I... Oh, it's... mouse... Oh. It's like Halo. Kind of hate that. I, mean, I, I, it's not the biggest problem, but I much, much prefer uh, being able to steer with the WASD. Oh, I thought it would just barrel over that and knock it out of the way, but no, this game doesn't really have physics like that. Because this is like I can't aim and um, shoot. I can't drive, aim, and shoot at the same time. This is the most useless weapon on a vehicle I've ever seen. Alright, let's try the new weapons. At least there's animations for that. That's nice. Doesn't seem to have much more range. How have you not killed yourself? What in the world are you doing in here? Yeah, this... This upgrade honestly didn't seem to do much. Not gonna lie. Alright, let's use the last upgrade on the frag rifle. Oh, I can't. It requires more. Alright, I have two. Let's see if I can upgrade this. Nope. Yeah, the reload is faster. I know that much. I wanna do... I wanna have more range. Do more damage. Because while not having range wouldn't usually be a problem with a weapon like this... It sort of is in this game, because I haven't seen any CQB. Die, please. Well, there goes my vehicle. Finally found my stream. Hello. 
Welcome. You know, everyone tells me this is supposed to be, like, Halo, but, like, I don't know. I don't really see it. Am I alone in that? Stop turning. Holy shit. <laughs> the vehicles, I see it, for sure. I can even do the drift and splatter people, but I mean, like, the gunplay. I can't drive anymore. So happy to the stream before you go to work. Out of curiosity, how many people in the stream are in Europe? Because I'm streaming at that time, so I would assume at least a good half of my viewers have to be from Europe right now, given the time zones. Okay, so maybe it's most of the people. <laughs> most people here are Europeans right now. I mean, I'll be honest. I think I would rather have... Does this not blow up on contact with vehicles? Huh. Yeah, no, it doesn't. That's a bit lame. Ow. What was I saying? <laughs> right. I'll be honest, I would rather have Europeans in my stream than than Americans. No offense to my to my fellow Americans, but uh you add guns and Americans into the same situation and uh you don't get a good result usually. <laughs> Alright, we got some good old Halo 2 bounce. Uh, Halo 2 came out before Pariah did, because Halo 2 was 2004, Pariah was 2005. Don't give me that look. Take the guns. Well, we're gonna go on a rail section. This is a really weird place to put a... But I have rockets. That did a lot of damage to me. I like how she got shot, and yet she's just fine. She, she like just doesn't care. <laughs> Cinematic ragdoll. Someone clip, please. I'm sure back in the day, it was, you know, people were like, dude, that's awesome. That's badass. But nowadays, it just, it looks really, really silly. It's just really funny.
the audio is really fucky. It does not at all sound like... How did I miss? Ow. It, it doesn't sound like surround audio at all. And a level, please? Oh, just to jump. How the fuck did you survive that? Um... Cool. It definitely has a tractor vibe to it. It's like a tractor jeep. Look, I'm gonna come clean. I'm with TCC, Transgenic Control Commission. Transgenic? Man-made organisms, manufactured diseases. I was taking you out of the prison. Prison? I'm not a criminal. I didn't say you were. It doesn't matter anyway. I'm gonna radio for help and get us out of here. Okay. Be careful. Stay put. How many upgrades do I have? Two? Do I need- I assume those dots on the side are like how many upgrades I need? It's either how many upgrades I need or how many I currently have. Okay, let's just try to upgrade. Darn. Okay, I think I need three to upgrade this. Look, I've never played this game. Don't put spoilers in chat. Wow. <laughs> they had no they had no idea until it blew up. They just didn't see it. Got him. Oh god, get me out of here. What am I stuck on? Literally got stuck on physics. Oh, I don't have any explosives. That should get him. There we go. What a throw. Bits! I got a new gun? Nice. Where is the button to turn off the alarm? Stop. <laughs> Stop that. Right now. They removed bits. Twitch didn't remove bits, though. You cheered with cast. What is... Oh! Canadian dollars. <laughs> I didn't see the D. It's hard, because it's, like, really bright green. On white. It's hard to read it. Fox gave me Monopoly money. I can't smell the syrup through the internet, though. You can't buy bits now? Why can't you buy bits, though? That seems rather weird. I didn't, like, ban you or anything, so... There's no reason to... 
Huh. Okay, you need to get headshots. They didn't even notice. Wow. That is so far forward for a sniper mag. Wow, what smart AI. <laughs> Twitch says it's experimental. Experimental for what? It's replaced with cheers. Isn't... Hold on, isn't cheers the same thing as bits, though? Oh, the laser, interesting. Sniping in this game is extremely hard. Um, because the aim is feels really fucky. It doesn't feel smooth at all. It feels like, hold on, let me let me make an example. If I want to move like one pixel over, see what kind of like jumps. It's not smooth at all. It's it's very, very difficult to aim. I think the only solution is to turn up the sensitivity. And then just like... No, because it still does it at a higher sensitivity. I'm also noticing this when I'm like up close with the shotgun. It feels very, very weird. I don't know, the aiming doesn't feel good. I opened the door. What is back here? An upgrade. Nice. I have four. Um, that just upgraded that instead. Cool. closer. Whatever. Thank God the reload is faster. Alright, stop moving for me. Stop, stop moving for me, please. You're not going to hit me with that inaccurate gun. Thank you. Find the dick. Darn. The only use cheer with an emote. I don't understand the difference between bits and cheering, I'm gonna be honest. I was understanding that bits was just a specific kind of cheering. Oh, there's... Okay, I thought there was jibs for a moment. Jesus Christ, what an explosion. Uh, dumb AI has been a long time problem with, like, shooters forever. I'm gonna turn the sense. Actually, no. I'll try the sense of being higher up in here. Yeah, fuck it. Oh, okay. I get him eventually. You're gonna get real sick when you're in that beeping. If 
feel like didn't really can't bid anymore. I mean, yes, but I don't know what a cheer does. Oh, I see what that is. Strange. I feel like it's kind of the same profit gains, but like less. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it would be like that. We knew fear with multiplayer. Well, as long as the multiplayer feels like fear of combat. Fear is one of those games where I kind of felt bad going into public matches, because, like, I would just make people quit the game. Huh? Oh. What's that noise? Jesus! I told you to wait by the car. Jack, the Shroud are coming for me. I can feel it. There's no Shroud. They've been gone long before you were even born. There's got to be something on the military frequencies. Bravo Reach, confirm zone coordinates 73 by 121. Confirm, T Bird. The satellite has just passed over and the crash zone is verified hot. No survivors. Wait, is that Stockton? Let's clean up the mess, T Bird. Biosafety 5. You are authorized for ordinance drop. You son of a bitch. You're covering your tracks. Roger that, Colonel. I know that voice. Put that comm link on. We gotta go. We only have a few hours. We can't go back out there. Look, we're surrounded. How'd they get so close? The turret should have taken care of them. Why aren't they working? They must be hitting the generators. Okay, I'll go find them. When they come up, you get those turrets back online. Hurry. Generator one. How do you survive that? What an amazing animation. It's way more satisfying than it should be. Just because it's so silly and dumb. <clears throat> it takes too long to get out of sprint. Their guns are so inaccurate that they're kind of not much of a threat. The AI deaths are silly, that is true. They are very silly. Kind of love it. I miss old ragdoll like this. What is this way? Ooh. Get away from me, ladder. I don't need you. Yeah, this is normal difficulty. For my first time playing through a game, we'll generally be on normal to get the experience that I think most people would get. Okay, so that path existed in case somebody fell down. How many upgrades do I have? Two. I need one more.
But generally, if I'm playing on my own and, like, not recording or whatever, uh, I'll put something on hard difficulty. For fear, I'll always put that on extreme difficulty, because fear is way too easy. But putting fear... I, I want to try putting fear on extreme difficulty and turning off slow-mo. Just, like, unbinding it entirely. I feel like that'll be a good challenge. Yeah, fear is extremely easy. Like... I know I've played a stupid amount of fear. Can you hear me? Yes. What's taking so long? Hold on. I mean, fear two is easy, but fear two doesn't count. We don't talk about that. Wow, this shotgun's fucking terrible. Fear 2 is a sequel, of course it's different. What? What logic is that? <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't want a sequel to be different. You want it to be the same as the one before, but better. Also, it's not different. It's the same as Fear 1, but worse. Fear 3 was different, and then people hated that one the most. So... Uh, where was that elevator? I started talking and forgot where I was going. Fear 3 is- honestly, Fear 3 is fun. It's not fun as like a traditional fear game, but it's fun as a co-op game. All three games are good, I will argue otherwise. I think Fear 2 is fucking terrible. I made a whole 30-something long minute video on that. Like, my problem with sequels is that... Oh, is this the door? No? Yes? No? Fuck, I, I ran by it earlier. Where is the elevator? It's right here. It was here. It was around the corner. Okay. The problem with sequels is that if your sequel is worse than the first game, it's just going to be a bad game. If it was that game on its own with nothing else, it'd be okay. It'd be mediocre. Especially if your sequel is quite literally the same, but worse in every way. Why can't I crouch? Oh, wait, I have a sniper. Don't move. They don't run a straight line. <laughs> Bullet 2 is also terrible. Monolith doesn't know how to make a good sequel. Can I upgrade this? Is this fully upgraded? Where's my mouse here? No. I need to cover blood. I don't know, I haven't made a video of that yet. I love Monolith games. I just kicked his gun. Oh my god, that's a lot of enemies.
Firebug? I haven't seen you in a while. Where you been? Man, wouldn't you hate it if every appliance you had made these noises? Turn on your microwave and starts talking to you. Green shake. Find an upgrade. All right. Can I upgrade this now? Nice. I don't know what difference I made, but I upgraded it. If you jump into a wall, it just kind of launches you backward. I need to cover AVP too as well. It's been a while. I don't remember much about it. I played it so long ago. settings back down because they didn't really change anything i would like to put it at like 65 because this is like not sensitive enough but 75 is too sensitive that gas Yeah, the jumping physics are pretty special. Aiming is also pretty special in this game. Let's see, will it heal my current bar or the next one? Okay, well it didn't matter because I came back. It's such a weird reload, like I really can't get over it. It's so odd. Am I able to upgrade my medkit? I don't think so. No. No, you're not. I don't know why you would be able to. I feel like that would make combat like a little too easy. Okay. She's just the only thing in that crater that didn't get hit. Safety 5. Containment protocol for transgenic outbreaks. Stockton was sending in the nukes. He knew about the virus and what Karina was capable of. But he didn't know. There were now two infections. Shroud! That's Shroud! Calm down. It's just a military recon. I'm sorry, Jack. You don't understand. Karina! Half-Life 2 NPC Damn. animations. <laughs> she got hit, but... No, she was literally in the only space that did not get hit. Yeah, I can't upgrade the medkit. What's that noise? going on? 
That was special. Got another upgrade. Huh, I can't up wait, no, that upgraded my sniper. Yeah, I guess I can't upgrade my uh med kit. Wait, what spoilers are we talking about? It was a custom we just watched, wasn't it? Hey, bitch! No, that doesn't work. Like... It's very buggy. This isn't rotating weapons. And if I do that, like I had the this out and it wouldn't let me upgrade. And like I clicked this while this is out and it upgraded my sniper for some reason. So very very buggy. I don't really know why. You're gonna be hearing that a lot. Uh, I'm playing at 1440. The highest it allows it allows is 1080, but it's still 69 aspect ratio. I care not for your shields. Come here, you. No, I said, come here. Come here. If he be out of retirement, make Unreal 3. Epic has no reasons. Why does it say Epic? The fuck? I thought that was someone screaming for a moment. They're really determined to run at me and punch me. Ow. Okay, thank god it, it fully heals like one bar no matter what. Yeah, epic is Fortnite. I don't know why I said epic. Oh, what I meant I meant to just say Unreal because they just don't really have much reason to do that. Because their engine is where most of their money comes from. Rip you. Oh, cool. The upgrade gave me a actually a pretty nice scope. This genuinely does help. That's way too far. Oh, well.
Microsoft makes most of his money on on other stuff. Yeah, still make, yeah, but they still make a sizable amount of money on games. That's ultimately why Halo is still alive. It's because it makes money. <laughs> Even with all the negative press, it's still making money. So, you know, big companies are big companies. They do things because it makes money. The, let's be real, big companies do not care about you. They do not care how much you want the, n the next anything. You know, they don't care how much you want the next Unreal. It, it does not matter to them. I do miss the uh, early mid 2000s where we had a bunch of like double A sized devs that legitimately were just making games because they're good games. You know, and there's, those people just don't exist much anymore. It's basically just indie games that kind of have that view. Um, to an extent, Valve is still kind of like that, but they don't really make games, so it just doesn't, doesn't apply to them anyway. Can I pick that up? I really want the shield. Epic had no reason to even make Fortnite. Epic had a lot of reasons to make Fortnite. They weren't really rolling in cash. Fortnite was like... Battle Royales were already extremely popular. Epic's reason for making Fortnite was because they wanted to cash in on that. That was money. And it worked. They were in the right place at the right time. Uh, what do I do? It has to be somewhere on the other side. Plasma gun? I don't have a plasma gun. Unless you mean the grenade launcher, which I had no ammo at the time. Yeah, I'm gonna scroll through my- Oh! The fuck, when did I pick that up? This looks- Those two look so similar. Holy shit. I saw it on the ground. I just didn't realize it was a different gun. Also, what button is it? Four? I did not realize I had this. Someone scribe. Fox. With the prime. <gasps> I assume that will kill me. Jumping is so awkward. You try to- If I jump while walking into something? It be Why does it turn into pinball? So- oh. Someone clip that, please. No, no, not you, Fox. Other Fox. Sounds like someone got through this time. Let's wrap it up. Ready, asshole? All set. Let's go. We're safe for now. You should try to relax and get some sleep. How long since the war ended? A long time. Through the years. Maybe more. It seems like it was just yesterday to me. Yeah. Cryostasis can do that. Going on. Stay in here. Keep your head down. Don't leave me. I'll be back for you. I promise. They made Fortnite as a zombie builder. Well, yeah, because zombies were also very popular at the time. They were chasing trends with everything when it comes to Fortnite. The first and foremost reason a company makes a game is for money. They think they have something very new, or they think they can ha cash in on a trend. Okay, so this is a three-arm burst. Very, I, I like this gun. <laughs> Reload is pretty similar to the Doom 3 one. You have a rock launcher. I need you to, to not have that. Ooh, 
Yeah, basically all I'm saying is that I don't really expect big companies to do the thing I want because I know that won't be the most amount of money. Like, I, I know what they're going to do, and that's why I don't really rely on any any big devs to do anything. Why do I turn into a pinball when I jump? Let's see, can I upgrade this? Nice. I don't know what this upgrade did. Still have a upgrade slot. I got the rock launcher. I did not realize. Cool, let me upgrade it this time. Weird. I wonder why it was so bugged. Hmm. That's an interesting looking rocket launcher. Alright, let's see. Oh, it's just automatic now. Okay. Wait, no, it's not. I was just tap firing and it felt automatic. Oh, can you not be around right now, please? What the? Yeah, I got this on my abandoned wear. Because I don't sell it anymore. I think I'm selling a lot of devs short. I'm not selling any devs, devs short. Devs don't get the decision. It's not devs that are able to do that. They gotta pitch it to the publisher, and the publisher has to agree. It's not the devs, though, the problem there. Publishers don't care. They're a big company just looking to make money. That is their first and foremost big goal. If it'll make money, they'll do it. If it's a good game, that's secondary. Am I missing a door? Oh, yes I am. Okay. Okay, we have a climb closet situation. Can you stop? Can't get through the door. Okay, I'll get up top. It is very okay. So here's how the that annoying beep comes through. So if I press reload once, it just starts reloading. But if I like mash it until I see it start reloading, every time I press reload and I can't reload, it beeps. Why? Why, why, why does that need to exist? What purpose does that serve? It's a very jarring sound. I, I genuinely don't understand why they added that in. And like instinctively, when I swap weapons, I press reload to try to reload, you know? I'm not really thinking about it, so you just get a lot of beeping.
Nice. Uh, oh, here we go. The sniping in this game is okay, but the aim is really, really bad. I'll be honest, the only reason I haven't played Vivisector yet... Oh god. The only reason I haven't played Vivisector yet is just because it's a really long game. I just vanish. I don't even know where I am right now. This is one interesting anti-air design. Someone just died next to me. <laughs> You're there, right? to assume that I... Okay. So that's what it does. Get, get, get. Generic train dot waff. Wait, you had three different characters you played through for Vivisector? I didn't know that. Oh, okay. That's what I thought you meant at first, but like rereading it, it sounded like something else. I do really need to cover AVP too, though. I can't aim high enough. Do you not have a hit scan? Thank you. Wap weapons, please. Thank you. It looks like it's gonna fly into the rock wall so hard.
Really, how much are you gonna survive? How long do I got to do this? I imagine if I die, I'm going to have to do the whole thing over again. Yeah, thankfully, that one just kind of sat there. Alright, this one's going to get through. These things have way too much health. I think that's infinite ammo, so I can just kind of do this. Well, I just wait. Strong Doom 3. Yeah, I'm honestly feeling a lot more Doom 3 than I am Halo. Like, the movement kind of feels like Halo, except for with sprinting. But I know, look at all the casings flying out of this thing. <laughs> and the direction they're flying. Kind of wild. is one extreme derailment. Jack! There she is. She's alive. All right, hurry. Colonel Stockton is waiting for us. That beeping is going to drive me insane. How much you want to bet this is going to be a battle scene? You're going to have to fight someone in here. I have three upgrades. What should I put them into? I fully upgraded, but it looks like there's another light on this, which is weird. Plasma gun? Plasma gun. Who could have seen that coming? Okay, rocket flood. 
Okay, Rocket Flood. They have no self-preservation. Reloading Tide Pods? I don't... I don't think you've seen a Tide Pod. <laughs> the true Tide Pod challenge. Let me health come back and then, uh... Oh, there's no button in here to turn this on off. Wow. What amazing AI. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, I have rockets now. Wait, the button to turn it off is in there? Where? There is no button to turn this off. Oh, it's on it. No, it's not. Hurry can't get me, though. <laughs> no one can even shoot me. Is that another turret trying to shoot me? It is. <laughs> Amazing. Oh. Quick reload break. I heard a rocket. Okay, that could have been worse. The ladders are awkward in this game, but they kind of work once you know what they do. Oh. Please have some self-preservation. Uh, okay, there was a button in here I was definitely supposed to hit. I don't know what that upgrade for the med pack did. Can I upgrade it again? Because health is something you definitely do need. Okay, I got another. I got a uh, little bar. Cool. What was the previous upgrade for? Makes it faster? Huh. Doesn't seem any faster to me. Actually, though, what? Um... The manual explained the upgrades? Oh, man. How unfortunate. Oh, there's a ladder right here. Duh. Remember when games had manuals? I will go against the grain, though. I'll say, while it is nice... Oh, that turret is still on! What the heck? What was the point of going in the silo? You... Stop. Yeah, I will go against the grain. Well, it is, uh, nice. And actually really, really, like, cool, and it feels nice to have a physical copy of something and having the manual and all that, and it all looks good. The actual process of playing a physical copy of something is so much more annoying. I would much, much rather have a digital copy. I would much prefer everything to be digital. 
Okay, what was the point of coming in here? I'm so confused. Do I just blow this up? Hold on. Oh, this is way more accurate than it used to be now. Holy shit, that's actually really good now. That's insanely good. Okay, the turret's still up. What? What? What's the point of going in there? I, I guess I'll just keep going and just ignore the turret. I don't see any purpose. kill that thing is so much better now that I upgraded it holy shit what weapon do I not have there's only one weapon left holy moly that poison does a lot of damage to you Jesus Okay, yeah, the, the healing is definitely faster, for sure. Okay, I actually kind of want this to be less accurate right now. Here, I'll just do that so it blows up. Note to self, you cannot reload while on a ladder. Oh, that was... What the... Okay. Maybe another silo. I read that as another Dilo. Give me the upgrade! Wow. <laughs> is that what it shoots, or is that just supposed to be like... I think that's what it shoots, actually. Or is that just supposed to be texture for, like, destruction? I hate when the shields block you. Turns into pinball. Ow, rocket launcher bad, stop. Give. I mean, I know it's supposed to be a flat cannon, but that does not at all look like that. Also, if it, like, ran into something, that would just obliterate it. I don't really know what I did in there. Make some odd noises. Hmm. 
<laughs> My wife isn't happy with having physical games. I'm uh, I'm kind of in that spot with uh, <laughs> with Nerf guns. How do you take down the legs? That doesn't seem to be doing anything. It has to be that one. No. I have no idea how to get rid of these. I will just assume that I cannot. It doesn't seem like... Oh, no, okay, shooting it! That's what does it, but rocket launchers? No. That, that would just make too much sense. What the... What?! <laughs> I did no previous damage to that! And like three bullets killed it. <laughs> what kind of logic? I don't get it. be a waste. This thing is so much better now. Holy shit. Are there um not any traditional throwable grenades? I think I would know that. Okay. Just the launcher. I don't I'm gonna be honest, I really don't see why everyone is comparing this to Halo. Like the movement and the jumping kind of feel the same. But the actual gunplay doesn't feel too much like Halo. And the enemies don't feel too much like Halo, like I don't know. I think it's just that's just the most popular game of its time, so everyone compares it to the, you know, the most popular one. Insane. And I've really not seen more, uh... I don't know. I've seen interesting enemies or any of the types. It's kind of just been the same thing over all the way around. Halo was at its peak, so it makes sense that people would compare it to Halo, but I'm just not feeling the Halo. I don't know what that noise is. It's green, though. What? Like, I see, I see similarities between this and Halo, but I'm not seeing Halo. Oh. 
Okay, fall damage is limited. There must have been a button in here I didn't see. Or had to have been. Yeah, there is. There we go. Okay, we're good. Ugh. Defense sections are fun, right? I said I already had a med kit on the top of my screen, but I don't see. Hmm. Okay. How many upgrades do I have? Just one. Okay, upgraded that again, I think. Oh, is that what the upgrade does? Okay, that makes sense, because I did shoot it against the wall when the game first came out, or came out when I first started playing the game. And, uh, I didn't do that. It was just a shotgun shot, so. Game is so mid-2000, I now have frosted tips. Oh, that's painful. I was kind of more early 2000s, but yeah, I get you. But the, the, the first thing that comes to mind with Frosted Tips is just that picture of Steve Nash and Dirk Nowitzki together when they played in Dallas. That's probably the most early mid-2000s thing. I already got the level 2 medkit, Drake. I got that before, I just upgraded it now. Actually though, what is supposed to be making that noise? I can see how it's set- Portal! Portal! <laughs> the FOV was not supposed to let me see that. This area actually looks kind of nice. Graphically, honestly, this game does kind of look like Doom 3. That's what I'm seeing more than anything else, is more like Doom 3. Lol. This thing becomes one of the best guns you can have when you upgrade it, damn. Kinda running a little low on ammo on it, so I'll save my ammo. Someone is vacuuming next door. Oh, they have a big hitbox. Ragdoll! Heard him scream all the way from over here. I think I have. Do I have all the upgrades for this? What are they all the all the upgrades for this? Accuracy, damage. I don't know what else. I'll just assume that door is broken. <laughs> what is going on here? 
What is that beeping? Oh, okay. That would explain why I could knock down the, uh... Oh! Oh, that's what the upgrade does. I now... ...can do that. Cool. That's neat. That beeping is driving me insane! Get out of here. Ladder, please. Do I have any upgrades? I have one. Let me try to upgrade the sniper. Darn. Do you mind? Stop. So, none of the upgrades in this game has that response you would expect from upgrading your gun. Like, I've not gotten an upgrade and gone, wow, this is freaking awesome. I love this. I, lo I want to keep playing this game. Instead, it's just been like, okay, well, I meant to pull out my shotgun. Uh, instead, my response has been something more along the lines of like, oh, okay, it's useful now, instead of just being useless. Back here. You know, it's that same feeling when you get like a skill tree in a game, and the option, like one of the options in the skill tree is just you can now reload while sprinting. You can now move faster while crouching. It's kind of like, okay, well, that's not a cool upgrade. That's just like something I feel like I have to get. Yeah, the shoddy reload is very nice, but again, it's just sort of, you reload faster. It, it was incredibly slow before, and now it's just, like, useful, you know? It's like they gimped the weapons and then gave you an upgrade. I want, like, a unique split function that changes how I play the game and gives me, like, more options, basically. That's what I would prefer to have. Can I get out of the map this way? Oh god, pinball. Why is- why is jumping impossible? Okay. No, it's invisible wall. Plasma gun is a charge deck? When I upgrade, I assume? I am holding it down, it's just burst. Oh, you- so you have to shoot the burst first. Oh, okay, it turns into like a BFG. Interesting. Uh oh. I was fucking around, didn't realize I was low on health. That's so slow though, that it's not... Great. Me. Alright, let me just try to reload every weapon except for the gun I need to reload. Why did that only give me one? Okay, I need medkits.
more beeping. Nice. Okay. I think it's sniper time. Any upgrade points do I have? Just one. I do kind of want to shoot the charge up shot into a group of enemies. That was the quietest explosion of all time. All right. <laughs> Let's rip that guy. If a guy dies in a concrete corridor and no one is there to see it, is he dead? Whoa, that is... Okay, so it kind of functions like a BFG then. This guy is not bright. I did a lot of damage shooting the wall next to me. Ooh, give me this. I missed when I had a shit ton of health. <laughs> I wonder what I could have done to change that. It couldn't have been just like not fuck around. That'd be ridiculous. God damn it. I pressed three to pull up my shotgun every time. I don't know why three is my muscle memory for shotgun, but it is. Homemade BFG. I'm sure someone in the south of advantage to do that. This gun went from, like, one of the worst SMGs I've ever used to one of the best guns in the game. Three is shotgun in Doom 3. Except for the problem is that it works in Doom 3, but it doesn't work in this game because there's not really much CQB. So like, it's actually, it's more comparable to that of the Halo shotgun. Except for it doesn't have something to counter. So there's like not really a purpose for it. Because in Halo 2, the shotgun has ass range. Absolutely none. But you're going to very frequently be up close to people because of the melee combat, because there's swords, and it counters that. This game doesn't have anything for the shotgun to counter. So it just isn't that great. Like, you can use it. It's not the worst shotgun I've ever used, but it's not really very good. 
And in Doom 3's case, you're like already up close to the enemy since everything is super CQB, so there's good function for it. Uh, again, the skin doesn't have that. Take that ammo though. I guess jumping out the window is what I had to do. Ooh, I've said this before, but I love Doom 3. I love Doom 3 so much. I didn't mean to jump like that, but I'm fine. That was the passenger seat. That was the passenger seat. There we go. What the heck? I really hate how, uh, I hate how I have to steer with the mouse. I know that's how Halo did it, and that's what was good at the time, but oh god. How am I supposed to do this without dying? Wow. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of that before it blows up. Lol. Okay, all doors have opened, but what door... What are they talking about? I love Doom 3. Doom 3, honestly, Doom 3 is not hated that much. It's just the loud extreme ones. I was actually tweeting about stuff like this. The same thing for Call of Duty. With Call of Duty, if I ever see a bunch of Call of Duty players, absolutely enraged about how their game is being killed and the devs don't know what they're doing, I'm going to assume whatever patch they made was probably healthy for the game. <laughs> Just baseline I'm going to probably not agree with them. Because usually Call of Duty players, their argument of whether something is good or bad for the game is Can I hold forward better than you? And can I shoot more and do more movement and have a higher APM? That's what's good for the game. That's not how that works. This isn't a fighting game. <laughs> also, that's scrub logic in fighting games too. I would love a, uh, okay, yeah, end a level. I would love a spinoff, a Doom spinoff that was more like Doom 3, but you're not playing as Doom Slayer. I didn't even kill him. That's supposed to be a BFG style weapon. Just kind of sucks. I think it's supposed to be more of a mine. 
the BFG at home. Well, COD is stagnant now. Nowadays, I mean, see, everyone talks about Call of Duty being stagnant, but like, they tried to change things for a long time, and it didn't work, and it made it worse. And a lot of us wasn't asking for that. We were just asking for more Call of Duty the next year. I mean, it, the quote from like Bernie comes back to mind where the internet demands progress, but the internet hates change, and that everything you do has to revolve around that, like everything. Like, there's no reason, like, it's no surprise that Modern Warfare 2019 did extremely well. It was going back to how Call of Duty used to be. Like, it was, that was, quote-unquote, the origins. More boots on the ground, Call of Duty-style stuff. People wanted that. I hate Advanced Movement COD. I absolutely hate it. Also, it didn't sell as well. So, sales are ultimately what drive them forward. I mean, just look at Call of Duty Vanguard. I mean, that is one of the examples as to why I think Call of Duty players are dumb. Because Vanguard was quite literally everything they asked for. And then they hated it. Like, on paper, quite literally, it was what they wanted. It had more maps than a previous Call of Duty game recently that had launched. It had plenty of weapons, plenty of upgrades. But according to everyone else, it was terrible. It was just more Modern Warfare 2019. I, don't, I genuinely don't get why people hated it. Was it better than Modern Warfare 2019? No. Modern Warfare 2019 was, was significantly better. Um, I don't think that's a, that's a hot take by any means. We can close to the end or not? How long? I'm two and a half hours in, maybe. Feels pretty underwhelming if, uh, if I am. You know, I haven't used this rocket launcher rock much, so let's just... Uh, Oh, he went right back into it. It's another upgrade. Swap oh, weapon. It would not let me swap weapon. People shit on Vanguard because of the sword. Like, yeah, that's the part I don't get. Because, like, here's my logic when it comes to Call of Duty. I'm only playing Call of Duty for the multiplayer. Like, that's that's literally it. That's the only reason I play it. The single player in Call of Duty games have never been realistic. They've always been unrealistic. They've always just been like, let's jerk off the military. Look how cool these tactical forces are, and that's that's the whole story. It, it's. I always hated it. The gameplay is also, I would argue, objectively bad. I just hate it. Uh, zombies, I get what people like it. I, I didn't like it personally myself. So, like, that just leaves the multiplayer. Like, the multiplayer is... You, they give you a gun, they give you loadouts, they give you a map. Be better than the other person. Honestly, the theme means nothing there in that context. It does not matter if it's historically accurate or not. It's not a milsim game. It's not truly a tactical game. It does lean more arcade, but it's also not full movement shooter like Titanfall 2. It's somewhere in the middle. So you get all these weird hot takes from people on both sides, and it drives me absolutely insane. Also, I'm just going to go ahead and say it like, if you really believed them when they said that Call of Duty Vanguard was going to be historically accurate, what? How dumb are you? Why would you believe them? It's the Call of Duty, it's Activision saying this about their new Call of Duty game. They say so much stupid shit every year. I can bring up so many dumb quotes about Black Ops 2 and no one cares because the game was awesome. <laughs> 50 BMG and Thompson? No, it wasn't. A, it was a 50 BMG bar. They're, honestly, the guns are so cursed in Vanguard. That's some of the reason why I'm having fun, to see how absurdly stupid you can make the weapons. It's like, what, why would you ever do that? Why would you assume that? What? <laughs> I can't even be mad. It makes no sense. It's so absurd, it loops around to being funny and fun. Attention. 
Stalker is pretty cool. I have nothing but respect for the Stalker series. Especially with what they're going through right now, and they're still working on Stalker, which is insane. I mean, hell, it was the... Oh. It was what, the community representative? Is that who it was? The community representative just literally is fighting in the war in Ukraine. Let me just, uh... Okay, I was wondering what the hell that was. <laughs> oh shit, he has a rocket. Somebody clip that, please. Someone is up here. Wait, this is where I came from. Uh, original game? Original game for what? Yeah, you want it for single player? That makes sense, to, and that totally makes sense. People can totally make that excuse, that excuse, that complaint for the single player. Because, like, yeah, that, that makes sense in that context. For the multiplayer, it literally doesn't matter. Oh, for st Stalker, okay. Because, like, if you're wanting this weird roleplay RPG thing, you're looking at the wrong game. You're, don't look at Call of Duty for that. What the frickin' ladder? Yeah, it's, it's the same thing with Battlefield. So many people try to, like, act like Battlefield is this serious, realistic game. What? You literally jump out of a jet and shoot someone with a rocket launcher, and then open a parachute, then drop your parachute, and then open your parachute five more times and land, and you're fine. You get blown up with an RPG, and then someone can defib you, and you're fine. Like, it, Battlefield has never been about historical accuracy and realism. Uh oh. There we go. Yeah, the single player in Battlefield Caught is both play one time and toss it away, never look at it again. And personally, I would say play zero times and never look at it again. Because it's not worth it, they're all bad. I remember I streamed, I wish I saved that VOD, I streamed Modern Warfare 2019 for like three or four hours and I was like, I, I can't play, I'm not even going to beat this, this game is garbage, why do people like this? Okay, you can't cancel that shot. It's like, everything Call of Duty does, it just doesn't let you play the video game. Everything is barely one step above a quick time event. I don't understand the appeal. It's like Call of Duty single players are made for people that don't play first person shooters. Which is partially true actually now that I think about it. It is just made for casual people that can get ferried along through the game and don't have to actually like play the game. They just want to experience it. But in my opinion, it's objectively bad game design. Oh, 
What? You survived that? I love Carl Aware. Carl Aware is great. I made videos of those that camp that stuff. Uh, as long as you don't play the cartel, that one doesn't. That didn't happen. It is a nice sounding flat cannon. The animations are all good, it just doesn't have the, the range I would like. How many upgrades do I got? Three? That's enough to put it in something. Uh, I should probably upgrade the health, shouldn't I? Alright, health is max. Alright, cool. I, so I never ended up trying the Aliens mode in Call of Duty Ghosts. People seem to not like it, but like... To me, it's way more interesting than zombies. Zombies are just boring as enemies, so I don't care for them. Probably a secret up here, actually. Lots of ammo. There you guys. Did you guys know the cell block was breached? Oh my god, ladder. Okay, there we go. Like, here, where is that quote? There is a. A fantastic tweet. Someone replied to that. Perfectly describes why I hate Call of Duty games. Here it is. I think I found it. Yeah. This perfectly describes it. Call of Duty campaigns are just checklists. There's terrible, terrible story. Characters with no personality other than military dude bro. Turret section on a rail section. Breach slow mo. Stealth mission. American propaganda. Explosion. Dumb quick time events. That that's the whole campaign. That is what you do every single Call of Duty game. And it'd be fine if there was something like engaging, something that forced me as a player to like actually play the game, something that gave me options. But no. Every single person that plays a Call of Duty campaign will have the identical experience to the other person. You can't even flank the enemy. It won't even let you do that because you'll go out of bounds or you need to be defending this or doing that and then the game will kill you and say restart from checkpoint. So like, wh why do people like it? I, I just, it blo and I'm not saying don't have fun with the game you like, but like, I don't get it. It's so confusing to me. People apparently don't want those options. If I'm having to defend and I see a bunch of, like, six enemies approaching from the front, and I can go around and flank them from behind, why would I not want to do that? <laughs> you survived that. I made a video of Cyberpunk forever ago. I don't care too much for it, though. Like, even if it was, like, fixed up. What? He didn't care about that. voice is going to drive me insane.
Uh, yeah, this is the OG Xbox and PC only. Drake, please. <laughs> it doesn't need help. Museum after all. Our tests confirm the shroud weapon to be some form of concentrator. Most likely, this was used to focus the otherwise chaotic discharge of the viral energy. We have otherwise failed to produce a stable, mutation-free duplicate of the virus. All efforts to replicate it in our test subjects have led to unmanageable spread of the infection. Therefore, we resorted to lentivirus RNA recombination. This produced an adaptive strain that subverted autoimmune responses long enough for the cellular transformation to occur. Last month, there was a violent explosion in the containment area. We suffered numerous casualties, lost several months of progress. It now appears that death of an infected host triggers a violent chain reaction in the virus. Due to the consequences of this accident, the Pentagon has ordered the test subjects disposed of, and the shroud material returned to Groom Lake for mothballing. We're being shut down. This marks the end of the project my father began. The sacrifices he made during the Shroud War to capture the Shroud Seedling. Decades of research flushed down the drain by the same skeptics who did as much damage to destroy our homeland as the Shroud did. Your inaction dishonors all those who died purging the Shroud from our soil. I will not stand idly by while you systematically dismantle our defenses and lead us like cattle to the slaughter. Karina wasn't merely a victim of the Shroud. She was something they had created, a weapon in their war against us. Karina didn't just have the virus. She was the virus. That one's for you, Jack. It's over, Stockton. Open the door. Don't make this any worse for yourself. Your thermal scan is way off, Jack. <laughs> I thought it might be. Looks like you and I have something in common after all. I... Doubt it. <laughs> There's a little bit of shroud in all of us. I know you're on that ship, Stockton. Where's our money? Fuck. You are gonna pay one way or the other. Is Call of Duty 4 and up Spunk Gargoyle Weebly then? Yes. I don't agree that Call of Duty 4 deserves to have a excuse or like a pass. Ow. Uh, because it's still very much so just the same garbage as all the other ones. It was just the first one. I mean, it learned everything wrong from Half Life. How is that doing damage to me and why? Also, what? Where do I go? Whoa, that almost yeeted me out the close. Okay, so I'm taking damage no matter where I go. What what do I do here? Do 
Do I have to just shoot back? Well, it's kind of impossible if they do that, so I'll just let myself die and get my health back. Oh, cool! I, I can't skip cutscenes! God damn it. Our money. Fuck. You are gonna pay one way. I will not have fun. Destroy incoming rockets. Okay, it told me that. I was just reading chat when it told me. Alright, how long you want to guess I have to do this for? Engaging. I thought there was ammo up here. I upgraded Bulldog just cheeses the game, but I'm almost out of ammo. Bored other ship. I get it because I'm bored. Can I make that jump? Holy shit. Shoddy, uh, not really. It'd be a good shoddy in some of the other games. It's not the worst I've ever used, but it's not particularly great. It sounds great, I will say that. There's a really interesting design and reload, and like. Yeah. It's not the worst. I guess that's the answer I would say. <laughs> oh, I thought there was a wall there. Where the fuck did you come from? 
Like, if you use it like you're supposed to and get up close, pretty good. If you don't, it's, uh, pretty bad. Yeah, it's Doom 3 levels of power, except for weaker than that, and also in a game that doesn't have a lot of CQB. I think a much better comparison would actually be the Halo 2 shotgun. Except for there's not a bunch of melee in this game like there is in Halo 2, so you just don't end up using it anywhere near as much, so... See, like, look at that. They back up. I have to really get up close. It is pretty satisfying if I get up close. And this is an area where I can use it. Basically, the maps were really designed for the for the shotgun. Halo 2 shotgun is very bad. Halo 2 shotgun is not bad. Halo 2 shotgun has the same rep as the Doom 3 shotgun does. People just don't get it. Because the purpose of the Halo 2 shotgun is to check the sword and other people's melee. And in that regard, it's really good at that. Whoops. Like, I think people think that the shotgun is, if it's not immediately an absolute one-shot disaster, within 20 feet, then it's bad, but, like, that's not really how games work. That's not really what I'm going to use. I'm going to use this. There's a clown closet situation. Yeah, shotguns are, are pretty hard to balance in pretty much any shooter, to be honest. The result is either they are comically underpowered or comically overpowered. The offhand detonation is actually awesome. Uh, because it does blow up on contact, but it is a really, really delayed explosion otherwise. So it's like, it, it will still blow up on contact. Regardless, whether you have to like click it or not. No, you mean for, like, real-life practicality, not, like, gameplay practicality. Yeah, that makes sense.
actually shut the reload anime. I remember in the early 2000s, like, reloads suddenly started getting better, and it's like, holy shit. We're having real reloading animations, and, like, the gun nerd in me was kind of just like, oh my god, yes, finally. Uh, nowadays I kind of get annoyed, like, realistic guns, good gun animations, like, all that's awesome stuff. But then there's all those people that will, like, literally judge a game on its animation, like, gun animation. So, like, that's not... That's not how this works. Like... <laughs> Damn it. Like, context doesn't mean a whole lot to a lot of people. It's kind of annoying. Ow. Holy shit, that did a lot of damage to me. Oh, flipped it over. I'm gonna go grab the other one that's full health. Yeah, animations are part of the whole, but, like, not having realistic reloading animations is not really a reason to say a game is bad. Or, like, not having good guy animations. Especially given context. Like... For example, Halo 2's animations are honestly a pretty big step down from Halo 1. It didn't have unique melee animations for every gun. The weapon animation reloads were way better in Halo 1, I would argue. But most people liked Halo 2 more. So, like, it, it's just part of it. And then there's also, like, different genres, for example. Like, if you're playing a tactical shooter, it's probably pretty important that your game has realistic and good weapon handling and animations, reloads and stuff, because, like... You know, that's that's part of a tactical shooter. Like, guns are a big focus on tactical shooters. You know, it's not make sense. Does it make the whole game bad? No. But it adds, like, major bonus points to it in that context. blew up my car. Oh my god. Eat fuck. How many upgrades do I have? Just one. Yeah, but that's, like I said, it, it all depends on the goal of the game. Like, Doom Eternal, if it had reloads, that would make it worse. That would just make it a worse game. It wouldn't need it. Uh, and some, game, some games want to add reload animations and find ways to get around it because they don't want to hurt the gameplay either. Like, RoboQuest, for example, it's boomer shooter at heart. It's fast gameplay, lots of movement, lots of good guns. But they still want to have reloads for their guns, but they didn't want it to slow down the game, so they added this backpack reload system where if you swap weapons, you can literally see a recharge in the bottom right, and if you wait for that recharge, the gun in your back will reload. And that's how they got around that. And this is actually really smart, because it forces people to, like, swap weapons, too, so use more than what you're comfortable with. Fuck the gun, just run him over. Okay, well. Tactical shooters and milsims are where animations matter, IMO. And other games are more or less like candy. Yes, exactly that. Exactly that. When it's a real gun modeled and it's just handled around, I mean, who cares? <laughs> I, I'm gonna be honest, I'm someone that likes guns, and, like, that's one of my hobbies, and I still- who cares? It's a video game. It, it really does not matter unless it depends on the game, you know? In a game like this, for example, I, I would not think anything of it. I would not care at all. Up, 
upgrade this right now? Nice. Oh, it gave me a deeper mag. Okay. What? Can I not hit him? What is this? Fine, fuck you. <laughs> I thought maybe I just missed the first shot, but no. I wonder if it's less accurate if I'm hit firing because I was definitely getting headshots there. Wait, you're alive? Stop. Yeah, it's ultimately design goals. Um, like, for example, in black, the fact that the guns are all silly and dumb is like, bro, what are you doing? This is supposed to be gun porn, and it's... I can kind of excuse it because it released back in 2005, and we didn't really have realistic depictions of weapons at that time yet. So they were still learning, and there wasn't really as much on the internet to learn from. We didn't really have YouTube yet. And, it, you know, you could only really do so much with Google, you know like pictures on Google images or airsoft guns you just happened to buy that were just cheap springers. So like I can kind of excuse it, but uh, you get what I mean. And then there are other games where it doesn't necessarily define the game, but it really helps the game. Like Modern Warfare is a great example. It's definitely more arcadey. It's it's pseudo tactical. It's not really tactical. That's where it came from, isn't it? What about up here? Uh, but the fact that all the weapons are animated just so well adds so much to the game. I, okay, as much as I like guns, I don't get the point of H3VR. It's just kind of like a glorified shooting range. It's just, I just get bored. I want, like, an actual game. Like, yeah, they have little mini games and stuff, but it's just not really the same. Like, if you had H3VR guns in, like, I don't want to say Boneworks, but you know what I mean. Oh, God. Okay, that, that was close. Here's something I will always find weird, though, is when a game has absurdly gu good gun reloading animations and then really, really bad everything else animations. It's like, okay, so here's where all your money went. Okay, so Fox is visiting here in like half a month. I'm running a Rivals tournament. He's coming down here for the Rivals tournament. Fox is someone that is terrified of heights. Absolutely horrified of fights. I am going to make him play VR. And I am going to load up that level in Boneworks. Where you're... You have to initially climb and then you're on top of the buildings. This will happen. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. Hi, what's going on there? How you doing? Portal RDX is, is kind of cool. It's kind of insane looking. Kind of love it. I see so many people shitting on it with the same... Every single time there's a Half-Life mod. Or something that changes Half-Life. <laughs> like, every time this happens, you get... The whole comment is just filled with like, This ruins Valve's vision! I'm like, okay, then don't fucking play it. <laughs> I don't care! Shut up! It looks good to me! Just like, dumb negativity. Oh god, that... Melting me, holy shit. Trying to pull my med kit. Not pull what I wanted. Doing this at a time where most people are sleeping. I mean, they can be asleep all they want, but nighttime is the best time. I still died. I got so close to it. Find the military base. Okay, so there has to be another way in there. It's not a fun game, is it? Not, not particularly. It's just kind of very bland. Didn't really stand out. Ragdoll will always be fun. <laughs> Someone is up there. Each other. That wasn't even me. Oh, the sleet's over here. Okay. When they die, their voice acting doesn't stop, so they just keep talking for a little bit. Just a little, a little weird. There you are, you fuck.
It was in your face? Yeah, I put a pump action in his face. <laughs> the way things generally work out around me. Even was he? Where am I? <laughs> Just keep moving. Pretend it didn't happen. Wait, what? How dare you not blow up? I shall change this. Ladder to get up there. See what Stockton, California is like? <laughs> Opens, right? It's got a light above it. Nope. Okay, where do I go? I don't see a ladder anywhere. Stairs that I cannot get to. What do I do? Is there just like a ladder I don't see or something? Do I have to climb this? <laughs> Jumping over things is such a pain in this game. No, I guess not. Uh, where do I go?
Like, it funnels me over here, but there's nothing over here. Wait, what the fuck? Okay. Bizarre. Can't shoot that guy. Okay, actually, I'm lost. What door? Oh my god, that's a pathway that looks like a solid wall! Man, I got a moonwalking fast. What? How dare you? There we go. This music is so intense for what this not is. <laughs> they had the body on the ground. I didn't blow it up. I don't think I killed him. Come back here. Yeah, it's... Whenever a game has good AI, everyone praises it because it just, like, doesn't exist elsewhere. Th those are basically the exceptions, games with good AI. That's why everyone mentions Fear so much. Like, Fear was ahead and advanced for its time, but we haven't had any advancements at all, and, like... Yeah, they just don't. It's basically the only ones that come to mind are Half-Life 1, Fear, Halo. Those are like the three games that really pushed AI. Oh, Fear definitely had advancements. It definitely did things that other games didn't for its time. I mean, keep in mind, that was 2005. I see a ladder, so I assume I have to get up there. I can't even jump up the stairs. Oh, okay, there's a door here. Halo 1 is better AI than some modern games. Yeah, that's true. Halo 1 also kind of has the advantage of the enemies surviving longer, so you can see them reacting and having some sort of self-preservation. That's like the main thing a lot of games don't do. When you shoot at an enemy, you naturally expect the enemy to try to get safe. When an enemy is hurt, you expect them to try to like limp away or do something. And that doesn't happen in games. They have no sense of self-preservation. They will run at you with a rocket launcher and kill themselves. Like, every enemy as, is as intelligent as the Flood. Which is a problem. That's a shadow. He did damage to himself with that, by shooting the wall. Yeah, I mean, in my opinion, that's why the Half-Life 1 Marines feel smarter than the Half-Life 2 Combine. There's a, m a multitude of reasons, but one of the main things is that you kill things faster in Half-Life 2, whereas the Marines have Quite a lot more health. So they get time to try to run away, but the Combine just don't really do that. They don't try to really run away when they're hurt. 
and they have like less spaces to run in general because the way Half-Life 2's maps were made. I don't know, to me Half-Life 2's AI just feels stupider. Man, that guy's just sliding at me. Oh my god. My aim is really feeling fucky. Every encounter is basically meticulously scripted so the AI would have flanks. That is not true at all. <laughs> That's a, a very, very too long didn't read and doesn't tell the full story. It like AI in general is a combination of map design and dealing with How do I describe that? A lot of it definitely is map design. You can't have an enemy flank if there's nowhere to flank to. And every single combat encounter in Fear was designed specifically to have those situations. Uh, no, this is a plasma gun. The SMG and the plasma gun are different, although they look very similar. Yeah, Half-Life 1 Marines are definitely more of a bullet sponges. However, the fact that they can't shoot while moving at the same time kind of makes it, like, not annoying. It makes them really fun to fight. That's one of my biggest complaints for, uh, Black Mesa. Is the fact that they just use Combine AI. It makes them so annoying to fight, in my opinion. I just don't find them anywhere near as enjoyable. Yeah, Perseus Mandate broke the AI quite a bit. Uh, the AI was never really designed to fight certain AI on AI, like combat, and certain maps. And it just makes them very, very dumb. Extraction Point never really had that problem, though. It is amusing how, like, worse Perseus Mandate was compared to Extraction Point while being made by the same people. So, I don't really know what happened entirely. I'm just assuming it was because... They got paid to, they had to get it out the door. Fear was pretty much done at this point. I mean, this is like, what, late 2006? We're knocking on, no, this is 2007, so Crisis and Call of Duty 4 and all that was coming out, so. In the original Fear, they did more than just like, just trying to flank you. Cause it was never all of them try to flank you. You know, it was usually three of them would keep trying to shoot at you. Then they would have one or two break off and then try to flank you through another route. And then it was also a lot of audio cues made them feel so much smarter than they actually, than they actually were, you know, always saying something was only one left, but not like saying, Hey, I'm the only guy alive. It was just something like I need help or something like that. So the player knew what was going on. Uh, or they saw you and they would just yell flashlight, but they wouldn't approach you. And if they did, it would just be one scout that would approach you. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Uh, I have an upgrade. What should I upgrade? You know, I use this a lot. Not that. All right, we have upgraded the grenade launcher. Still have some. Wait, I have that fully upgraded, I think. What even do I have left I need to upgrade? I guess this. Okay. I don't know what upgrade I did for this. Probably just stronger. Yeah, yeah, I would I would love something that pushes AI and in interactable environments. Oh my god, this is so much stronger now.
Yeah, also that too, like, the AI could interact with literally everything. They can knock over everything if they wanted to. Oh my god, what an upgrade. Yeah, they, they wanted every environment, every fight to feel like a multiplayer battle, basically. And they did that pretty damn well. Wow, I didn't take any damage. Oh, I can walk through that. I thought that would hurt me. This environment looks interesting. Kind of looks like prey. Well, that was supposed to be a shotgun. But I am fine. I do want to try a fear extreme difficulty challenge. But, like, if I tried to turn that into content, it would get no views. Because that's not the style of game content that I usually make, and I want to click on it. But, like, yeah, I don't mean extreme difficulty challenge. I mean extreme difficulty no slow-mo challenge. Because extreme difficulty on fear is really easy. The game is not hard. The slow-mo just makes it super, super easy. He almost just killed himself. This honestly feels like a cauldron game where you're just fighting the same enemies over and over and over again. There's been no variation in the enemies. It's just the same military dudes with different armor. Occasionally, they'd throw in, like, a flying drone or something that wouldn't be fun to fight anyway. That helmet went into space. Forcing the Call of Duty playstyle? Um, not really, because the map design is... Quite, like you're allowed to flank and get behind them. What? How does it not blow up? I specifically shot that explosive barrel. This game is literally just click on head simulator right now. Thank God. I mean, nah, nah, you don't really have to sit. There's like very few situations where you'd have to sit around corners. Like, if the AI doesn't know where you are, they're still going to be pretty dumb. You can still get the drop on them. And you do have some time to react before they, they show up. They react to you. Loading? No. Okay. Don't think of this as an execution, Jack. 
It's more like the extinction of a competing strain. Not will for it. Well, where are you going? All right, so we have a boss battle now. What? Actually, though, what the fuck are you doing? Can't touch the walls, they'll hurt me. I feel the power getting stronger. The walls have pain. Okay, where Where'd he go? I assume I have to blow up that thing in the middle. Ow! That still the damage to me even though I'm below. I think I just do it a that blows up. Ow. Uh, what do I do? That still did damage to me because explosions can hurt you. God damn it. Why do explosions you hurt you through walls? Me, and you Don't can't skip cutscenes. How very, Jack. very cool. It's more like the extinction of a I do not mind backseat gaming at this moment. I just want to know what to do to kill him. Because I don't want to wait through this stupid cutscene every time. Okay. I kind of looked at it and figured that's what I had to do. Wow, it really doesn't take much. Okay, what the... You know, it's just easier to just do this. This thing does so much damage.
What? That's not... Ow. Actually, I'm just going to reload this real quick. Alright, cool. I got more ammo for this. Where did you go? Close to her. <laughs> Welcome back, my flower. We thought you might. <laughs> change of heart. Of course not. I kept my end of the deal. Well, not quite, I'm afraid. I'd like to see my daughter. And you will. I will honor our agreement in time. But we are so pleased with your success. There are a few more errands we'd like you to run. Do we understand each other, Jack? Jack! Yes. Good. The shuttle is ready. Pity she can't come with me. Our engineers insist we take precautions. As you know, she has a tendency to explode. Shit and politics. The Shroud War was about one thing life. Anyone could take it away. But the Shroud? They could give it back. And my deal, my debt, would never be paid in full. And even if it was, if they could do the impossible and bring her back to life, she'd never be my daughter again. She'd be theirs, just like Karina. She was theirs again because of me. I had to fix that. Whoa, new weapon. Oh my god. Holy shit. I feel like the game should have ended afterward. After that boss, I feel like that just should have been the end of the game. What is happening? I, I have no answer. Who the fuck are the... whatever they called them? I don't even remember the name. They, they keep mentioning it. But like... They don't explain what they are. Oh my god, there was a turret there. Holy shit. Oh my god, I have to watch the goddamn fucking cutscene again. Let me skip cutscenes. This is such a long cutscene to not let me skip. Holy fuck. Can I alt-tab and have it keep playing? Okay, I, I can. Cool. 
We're just gonna have this cutscene playing. We thought you might. Take a quick, quick, quick YouTube break. Of, of course not. I kept my end of the deal. All right. Well, <laughs> not quite. I'll use a. Uh, I'll use this time to plug my other YouTube like channel. See my daughter. For those that are not aware, I do have a channel I where I just cover nifty, nifty Nerf guns. This is, believe it or not, but a Nerf gun. So is the success. I'll skip forward to me shooting it. Let's shoot it. A few more I know you can still hear it. It's all tapped. I, I, I want you to be able to still hear it so I can tell when it's done. That water video? On. The shuttle is ready. What's dead water? Pity she can't come with me. I actually have no idea what. Oh. Our engineers insist we take precautions. I don't know this person. As you know, she has a tendency to explode. I'm waiting for the cutscene to end because I can't skip the cutscene, and you can't make quick saves. Anyway, yeah, this is, uh, this is my second channel, if you care about it. Nerf guns have gotten insanely advanced. It's really cool. The bullshit and politics. Shroud war was about okay, cutscene is... Life. Anyone could soon take it away. over. But the Shroud? They could give it back. I'm so glad the cutscene kept playing when my I left. deal. My debt. It would never be paid in full. Yeah, and I've never heard him before. Was. If they could do the impossible and bring her back to life, I don't actually watch much gaming game. content. She'd be there. So believe it or not. Just like Karina. I mean, I she already do it for a living, so. I had to fix that. Jesus Christ! How long did I have to wait for that? Oh, and I can't heal myself. This does heal me, so that's nice. Yeah, this crosshair sucks. This is an accurate gun with a shotgun crosshair. I apparently cannot hit the turret. Oh god. And I'm out of ammo, so what do I do here? There we go. What the? Jumping into things just launches you. It's so jank. At least I keep a good amount of health, or a good amount of ammo when I shoot this. I figured it would take more ammo. I don't know who the right idea was to... Oh, 
Give me an accurate gun with an inaccurate crosshair. Where the fuck did you come from? Okay, I need ammo. And health. Yeah, the, the metal walking on a catwalk sounds. Something like every game ever. It make it, what makes it worse is that it's... It's very, very awkward to, like, aim and hold down the button at the same time in this game. It, like, messes with your sensitivity. So... It's hard to track them. Get that ammo back. Seems like Tencent owns like everything nowadays. <laughs> it's either them or Microsoft or who's the other company? No, this is just the final level. It feels like them trying to recreate the souped up gravity gun level on Half Life 2. Where is a charging station? I thought I saw one. These all look like charging stations. That's another problem. I didn't say it was good. <laughs> I said this was their attempt to recreate that sort of concept. Is this a boss puzzle or, or... Sometimes you charge it and nothing happens. Oh, that's not charging station. Why do the charging stations all look the same?
Can I just cheese it by standing here the whole time? Okay, what? What do I have to do here? I actually don't know. Oh, this charging station is empty now? So can you run out of ammo? What do I do? Hold on, what do I do? I actually have no idea. That's shrouded... Oh, okay. Well, that's vague. I'm looking at the walkthrough. I don't want to deal with this. I don't know if there's a checkpoint at any given moment. So, like, I don't want to have to do that whole level over again. This is the original FOV, yeah, that's horrible. Is it just what I've been doing this whole time? Just keep shooting them? Just keep shooting them, I guess? Oh, that is doing a little bit of damage. I, it doesn't even look like she doesn't have a shield. Like, that just looks like she has a shield. Right? I also didn't notice her health bar down there, even though it was in literally the same place as the last one. And you just stop her from healing from the assassins, I guess. Oh, I killed one. Are you serious? That missed? You can kill me. But go ahead. Try. I guess I have to hit them then, when they're about to launch at me. Also, we're... More ammo? Yeah, that's what I have to do. Stop. Not as easy to rank as me, is it? Ah, what is that? Do damage. Ah, oh, what the? Come back. Okay. I think that killed it. Isn't this exciting? Oh, there's one more left. Oh, they're just gonna keep responding. Come on. You gonna attack me or what? Ah, fuck it, whatever.
Wow. What a boss. Stop us. See, Jack. It's really that simple. Did you think they wouldn't figure it out? I didn't have anything to lose. Then finish this. I'm begging you, Jack. Finish this. I... I want to. But... I don't think I can. You have to. It's the only way I can be saved. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Jesus. It's okay. It's okay. Hurry. It's too late. Run. Fuck. I'm so sorry. Okay. What happened in this game? Does anyone have any idea who the bad guy even was? Or what you were even doing? <laughs> What's the context? What's the situation? What are those, like... They said they were aliens, but not aliens? I, mean, I don't even remember the name. I'm so confused. <laughs> I have no idea what happened. think it was supposed to be a trilogy? Well, even if it wasn't, you need the story to at least make sense to start a trilogy. All are human, so what the fuck are they? They're just mutated virus things. What are they even called? I forget the name. What was their even involvement? In any other game, you'd make them, like, the main enemy, or at least, like, give you context for who they are. Shroud, yeah. They never explain who the Shroud are. <laughs> I'm so confused. It's like, we're all sitting here, we all just watched me play the game from start to end and no one knows what happened. <laughs> I can't skip the ending credits. Do you really want to have your name on these ending credits? Also... Alt F4 doesn't work! There. <laughs> I fixed it. Problem fixed. Man, I, I'm so confused, man. Let's look up, uh... Let's look up the Metacritic. Let's see what happened here. Let me get this out of the way. What the- why is this so good? Oh. Is, no, this has to be a different game. This is a different game. It's a movie. What? Stop that. <laughs> Stop being confusing. Alright, this is closer to what I expected. It's nice. Ten? What? Dumb. Does not provide the entertaining ability to save progress during missions, which means its entertainment value is a big fat zero. 
<laughs> boring and frustrating. It was definitely boring. I wouldn't say it's frustrating. It's just sort of whatever. I'm just, I'm, yeah, I see why everyone talks about this game as like the example of generic first person shooters of that time. This is like what happens if you chase the trend. It's just exactly the mid 2000 shooter and that's it. You could not even have a name of it. You could just show stock footage of this in the background. Like, there's nothing about it that's... Wow, why did the Xbox version get such a... What? Look at the difference. What? Console players have lower standards. Goddamn. Anyway. No, it's not a different game. That's the same... Same cover and everything. It's just the Xbox version. Strange. Very strange. Oh, no, it's definitely the same game from console to PC. This was pretty much past the time where they were releasing a totally different game on PC to, to console. The PC version is a little less good as far as the port goes. There's a bunch of little tiny issues that are kind of annoying, but nothing like super game breaking aside from the aim it's mainly the aim now that I think about it i installed the game and it kind of just worked the only change i had to make was to allow me to go 1440p resolution which is fair 1440 wasn't really a thing back in 2005 so you know i, I won't harp on it because of that uh i had to raise the fov which is kind of not fair but also i changed it once in a console command and then it actually saved it and i didn't have to do it every time i loaded or every time i launched the game so that's a non-issue the only problem is just the aim. The aiming is very, very awkward. Game is more impressive as an Xbox game. Doom 3 is the same winner. Eh, I wouldn't say it's the same, arguably, because Doom 3 was extremely advanced for its time, even on PC. It was amazing. But it is really impressive that they managed to somehow take a game that big and advanced and squish it down onto the original Xbox. It's not a entirely different game. It's slightly different, but like it's, it's really weird. I think the biggest change, honestly, not the biggest change, but the biggest addition was co-op. It, it is like playing Doom 3 in an alternate universe. It's very strange. That's like that mod that somebody made for Half-Life 2. I gotta find it now. This, I, I hate this mod. The, it, it just, it All just right, so fucks with your head so much. Wait, he had one point where he just... Mod that plays tricks with your alternate YouTube people got familiar. Screen is comment with area again. So there we go. Now I think you've got... So here's some clips to confuse you even further. Like, if you're like me and you've played Time... Or Time Slitters. If you played Half-Life 2 a million times, like... Everything, all your muscle memory just kind of says no and just... It's so much more confusing than it needs to be. Just like Half-Life 2 on Xbox. Except for Half-Life 2 on Xbox, the original Xbox was really bad. <laughs> it was super laggy. Like, am I the only person where I look at this and like this? I hate this. My brain just hurts. Like, that's what I'd be doing all the time. You know what I really want to see? I want to see the best Half-Life 2 speedrunner try to speedrun this game. This mod. How many times would they mess up? And then they'd go back to Half-Life 2 and then they'd, their muscle memory would tell them that it's mirrored when it's not. Like, it just fundamentally messes with you. It just feels wrong. <laughs> feels so wrong. A 
I think a better question is why? Why would anyone make this? It's the same from Half-Life 1 to Half-Life 2 for me. I've played both of them so much. The most disorienting for me was the Highway 17 chapter because... It's just, it's so weird. Nightmare House 2 is fine. Anyway, now I'm just kind of sitting here talking and it's f almost 5 a.m. So, uh, I'm going to go now, now that I'm streaming for about four hours. It's pretty good. It's been fun. I don't usually stream on Thursday, but I will still stream on Monday, most likely. So, hope you guys enjoyed the stream. This was a very boring game, but maybe it was entertaining to hang out. So, thanks for showing up, and I'll see you guys on Monday.